What is up, toy fans? It's that time again. Welcome to our boot sale challenge of Will's Toy Clearance Part 2. That's Raf. That's Jason. This is Benhead. And I'm Will. And this is Bugsy's Toy Box. So guys, as we said last week and in the intro, this week our video is all about our £20 boot sale challenge with Will. Now basically, just to outline the challenge to you, each team, myself and Muggsy and Will, got £20 to spend on the best bits and pieces that we could find at our local car boot. Now, we tried to do it the weekend before, me not being there, um, and for whatever reason, the weather, the rain, it just... Neither team came up with a lot, so we thought we'd redo it this weekend, and I think both of us, I mean, we don't know what Will's done so far, but from what he said, he, we've both done, I think, done pretty well. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Yeah. I can't wait to see what Will's got, because mm. we've got some absolute yeah. gems. Yes. As you may have noticed, we, uh, we got ourselves some funky masks, because why not? So we got, obviously, Rav, for me, him being my favourite turtle. And Jason, Red Ranger, for me. Mainly because I wasn't allowed to watch the Power Rangers as a kid, too much fighting. And I couldn't so, find Batman. I can do what I like now, Mum. Yay! <laughs> right. Right, you are. Would you like to go first, sir? I will. Uh, I'll tell you what, to kick off, we picked up a range of stuff covering all sorts of different bits and pieces. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the first, we were also doing a boot sale today, so it made yeah. it a little bit harder to sort of pick stuff up, but we love a challenge. Yeah. So, first off. I picked up, sorry if that wobbled the camera a little bit, <laughs> a big bag of King Kong. Maybe that's why it actually wobbled the camera. Yeah, because it's climbing up the side of my house. <laughs> so these are from uh, 2005. They are Playmates, yeah, Playmates. Universal Studios. There's loads of articulation in these guys, like as you can see from his fingers. Like you can curl the hands, you can curl the toes on the feet. You can curl the toes on the feet? Yeah. So he That's can hang incredible. on to sort of anything, really. But he was awesome. And he came as a big lot um, with a, a weird-looking bug creature, which probably came as part of a double pack, I imagine. Um, and then lots of... Uh, a pull-back-and-go Kong. Uh, and then lots of little bits, which I think came from one of the, the play sets, not Skull Island, because that was a later film. One of the first ones, I think. Oh, right, okay. So there was Kong, um, the oh, I'll drop one, the classic damsel. There you go. Uh, some dude in a variety of positions. Um, some islanders. Um, and another bug. So, yeah, they were really cool as our, our first pick-up of the day to sort of start everything off. Thank you. You're very welcome. Right, next up. Next up was uh, a few Lucy's. Now, um, this goes over a range of different things, so I'll start off with a little bit of Marvel. Mm. Tiny little Venom figure. Yeah. He is very detailed, but very, very tiny. Yeah. Not sure what this came from as of yet, because I didn't actually research him. I was meant to. Um, but he is 2006? 2006. 2006. Yeah, all of Fish Marvel. Um, but yeah, little dude. So not yeah. sure if that was just a little model pack or whatever. We'll look into that later. If you know, give us a comment. Tell us what it is. Yeah, haven't seen the film yet, but definitely going to see it. Oh yeah, can't wait. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, this guy from the TV series Gargoyles. Now this is 1995. Um, can't remember what toy line made this, but this guy is Xanatos. Or Zanatos, or Zanatos. I'm not sure. I never, I never watched Gargoyles, but I remember he watched is. the cartoon as a kid, but I don't remember him. Oh, there you go. He looks a little bit angry, so I'm assuming he might be a bad guy, as yeah. he's in black as well. Yeah. Just making that assumption. Right, you are. Next up is a Nightwing figure. So from the Batman Legends of Batman toy line, um, I've got this guy on card, so I recognise him straight away. I think I've got some of his accessories in my uh, spares box as well. So oh, awesome. we there's, complete, yeah. yeah, there's one of the Nightwings. There he is. I don't know why they gave him long hair in this one. It's like he's got um, a mullet. Yeah, is it, in a it is. Cell? No, it's a, it's oh, it is a, a mullet. mullet. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I mean, may have had long hair in you know one of the adaptations, but 
I think it looks silly. So that's just my opinion. And as a hairdresser, I value your opinion. <laughs> Many wouldn't. Well, Many wouldn't. each to their own. And this little guy. Now, for those eagle-eyed viewers who may know this toy line, it's not as well uh, represented, I don't think. It's from Earthworm Jim. This is Hench Rat. Yeah. So there he is. He I think is there's in... only, only a couple of seasons worth of this, because it was a cartoon. Yeah. He is in amazing condition. Mm. He literally, there's no chips or like any visible playwear or, you know. No, usually paint. he's missing this sort of shoulder pad. There's some weapons and stuff that, that come with him, but we don't have it. Yeah, yeah. So Because that all does all come off. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. So there's him without it. His cheesy waistcoat with holes in. His... <laughs> I'm so glad I took that off. I didn't even know that was a thing. He's got a waistcoat made of cheese. That is brilliant. So well, he... that's, that's just made my afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, Hench Rat, Earthworm Jim. There you go. Cool. What's right. next on the agenda, sir? Next up, we picked up, uh, as you've probably seen from Instagram, uh, my collection's now spanned into Transformers. Now, we picked up a couple of bits um, two weeks ago? Hmm. Two weeks ago. Yeah. And we picked up a few more bits today. Now, this is uh, it's a very, very modern one. Not much articulation to it at all. It sort of just splits... Like so. I don't know who it's meant to be, whether that's meant to be Megatron or somebody, but it's um, it's official Hasbro 2008. It's also, it's actually not as new as I thought it was. It just felt like they got a little bit lazy with these. Yeah, some of them did. But, uh, and something else that transforms, but I don't think is... Well, I know it's not a Transformer, but I don't know where it's from, so if you guys can help out, that'd be great. I got stumped. It's this dude. Now I thought they were dino eggs or something similar, but it all sorts of it all sort of comes apart. He says that and then can't do it. I'd also like to point out that I mentioned at the boot sale when he picked him up that maybe it's called a dino egg and he's went, it's not a dino, it's a rhino. He told me off. I did. Yeah, so it all opens up and all the bits and pieces fold inside. Uh, it's quite a lot of detail to it. There's no markings apart from the word China, and I'm pretty sure it's not a knockoff because I've seen these before. Not saying that I'm just going to leave that there. Um, but he was cool. So if anybody knows who it is or what toy line it's from and they can help us, that would be amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. Please help us. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, me. And if it is really called Dino Eggs, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, he drives high on again being right. Where do you are? So, next up along the gaming lines. Mm. Little pickup for myself. Which I need to throw across the room. Picked up again. <laughs> Thrasher on PS1. Now, the underrated of the skateboarding games, Skate and Destroy, because obviously everyone at this point was playing Tiny Hawks, yeah. which I did love as well. But yeah. this one, this was something else. This was great. So I'm going to have great fun having a go at that later. Is it single player or two player? Uh, let me double check. I'm hoping two. It's two player. Winner! Yeah, so we're going to be smashing some of that. Still got his booklet. Both ex skateboarders. Well, I say ex, I'd still a little bit, but it's usually at lunchtime on my own. Yeah. Well, I don't work anywhere near you. No, so. that's true. And I don't often get lunch breaks because I'm busy. Yeah. I'm hungry. It's not too bad. I reckon it'll still play. Took a gamble on it. I'm sure it'll be alright. Either way. It's not toy related, we know, but. Eh. Yeah. Still got it. Yeah. It's only a pound. Why not? And your, what was your other disced piece? My other disced piece? was it is toy related in some respects because I've got a separate collection of this but I just couldn't turn it down for 50 pence Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie nice <laughs> yes been watching reruns of this on Netflix not yeah. ashamed to admit it brilliant like, well before we do the film and we sit down and have dinner we'll watch a couple of episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! first <laughs> just doing toy hunting and stuff <laughs> we, we legit do yeah. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it no it's brilliant uh, it's, it's, it's just really really nerdy when you actually play the game which, which I do you tried to explain it to me and it was a little too complex. It's really hard. Yeah, that's a lot to remember and a lot of very small words to read on cards. Absolutely. Anyway, so this came out. Uh, it was made by. Oh, it was Warner Konami. Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Warner Brothers and Konami. Uh, when did this come out? Ninety six. Oh wow. Okay. I didn't realise it was that old. Yeah. Mega old. Oh. Yeah, mid nineties, mate. Nice. There we go. So those are my two disc related pickups. Yeah. Right. Our final two. We couldn't decide really which one to finish on. So I'm going to start, mm -hmm. uh, and as you've seen, and as I've talked about, Transformers is a big thing for me. 
and we came across not one, not two, but six G1 Transformers of the car boot. Now, we, the, the guys that we picked these off usually sort of got house clear and stuff, so I was pretty surprised to see them when we found them, but they're amazing. So I can't work out who any of these are. I think this was hard. Well, from what I've done research-wise, it looks a bit like... Did I say hardhead? Yes. Yeah, but there's no stickers to denote a team. It says uh, it's all Hasbro uh, and Takara. A team. Oh, yeah, well, you were either Autobots or Decepticons, they were I, teams. I know, but it just Shut I up. haven't ever heard anyone say a team before. Oh, when it you comes know to what that. I mean. Oh, no, I know exactly what you mean. It was just funny. Just being a pain. <laughs> but, yeah, no weapons with any of these. But So if anybody can give me any more information on this guy, that would be amazing. We also have um, 70% of this one. Again... We haven't been back long, so I haven't had time to do any research on these guys. That one's obviously an Autobot, though. Yes. Being the team logo on the front. <laughs> Go team. Go team. Uh, also, I'd like to point out, we've said G1. That might be a bit presumptuous. Yeah. We know they're, like, 87 to 89. Yeah. Well, no, well, the UK was a little bit later. Yeah. Yeah, so they're sort of 91, 92, was still G1. There was a small amount of research I did on the way home. Oh, yeah, but as in they're, they're marked... Yeah, 87 yeah. to 89 on the actual times on the toy stamps yeah this um, one being 86 camera's probably not going to focus that on with my shaky hands but this is what looks like half a half a one half an autobot um, uh, a very small autobot helicopter which is missing lots of bits if anybody can help us out with any bits to complete these by the way please let us know because that would be amazing because yeah, they're cool. all staying in my collection and one this collection year. we were having a shared <laughs> and to finish it off, an almost, almost complete so Grimlock. So close. All we're missing is this other side panel and his little arm, and then any sort of weapons that came with him. But I just, I, I came back after my wonder, shaking. Muggs was like, Are "You alright? You see what's in my bag?" <laughs> I had so much fun today. <laughs> but yeah, that was my final pickup of the day. So to finish us off. Well, actually, you've got that one there. Now, oh. this one I picked up, but it's because basically Ben got so giddy yeah. of finding all this stuff. I've missed it again. That you missed it again. So I'm going to show you something that he actually picked up parts of. Yeah. And I went back actually to the same stall and because bits were scattered everywhere... managed you to, to sort of build them as you went along the stall. Yeah, managed to like piece them all together as I went along the stall, picking up bits that I recognised. Mm. Um, and this ended up being an extra Transformer that he'd missed. It was another Autobot. Now, I, I remember seeing it on the table, and the guy was like, oh, do you want this one as well? And I, was, I, I instantly thought, no, no, it's a newer one, I don't want it. Stupidly was just getting giddy over the other bits that we found and some of that, but I'm so glad Mugsy went back and picked it up, because this guy looks complete bar his weapons. Uh, and in really, really good condition. So, thank you for picking him up. You are very welcome. Going in our collection. Yes. Now, last but not least, you will see a couple of different versions of this, which we will show you in just a moment. Yes. Once we've shown you it in all its glory. In all its glory. Now, Ben picked up half of this. I went back to pick up the other half of this, not knowing that we'd both yeah. picked up half each at the time because it was I all thought in I'd complete, bits. I thought I'd got the majority of it and it turns out upon doing some research that the two different ones we've had combined to make one mega zord one mega zord yeah i never knew that these two combined <laughs> no so it's the normal mega zord and the dragon mega zord to make the super dragon mega zord ah uh, yeah there you go and that's meant to be his weapon, but we are missing the stick. Yeah. So we need that. Anyone got it? Please, please let us know, yeah. yeah. Please let me have a stick. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that. Now, obviously it goes into two separate ones, which you will see pictures around here. We'll, we'll pop those in. All the, all the four stages will stick up. I'll, t I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll stick uh, the Megazord over his face and the Dragon Zord over my face. There you go. So that's it. But that is him in all of his mega... Dragon Zord glory. There you go. Unfortunately, the the Triceratops foot is missing his his horns. 
yeah. we're missing the Mastodon head. So if anybody has those, that'd be yeah. awesome. Plus the regular sword. Yeah. That'd be lovely. Mm. Perfect. I know we're asking yeah. a lot, but... We are. If we don't ask, we don't get. Absolutely. Yeah, that is fantastic. That is... I've fallen in love with it. Yeah. I really have. It's That's amazing. really, really, really cool. So, yeah. so nostalgic from childhood, like early 90s. Well, I was watching Power Rangers every Saturday morning. It was while, awesome. While I was getting banned from watching Power Rangers every Saturday morning. <laughs> I think I watched enough of probably the both of us. Anyway, yeah, probably. So. It's fine. I'll, I'll watch it in secret. Yeah. Shh. Right, so that's that's us done. Uh, on to Will. Show us what you got, Will. Okay, guys, so some nice stuff there. So what did I pick up? Well, quite a range of stuff, actually. Some quite personal to me. Some should be good selling. Something for a giveaway. In other words, a bit of everything, which is what we like. First up was this, the Simpsons Cluedo. Looks like it's been used once. Um, obviously all the bits fall out of it every time you pick it up. Like most board games you buy off the car boot, but never mind. I've checked it out, it's complete. All the um, nice pewter counters are there. I'll uh, show you a few. So we've got the nice uh, classic donut. We've got Bart. You can quite... Uh, Mean. We've got Krusty's, Colonel Mustard, uh, Homer, and probably one of my favourite pieces, the uh, catapult. Very nice. This for put me back a whole pound of my £20 budget. Very pleased with that. It seems to sell for about seven quid conservatively, but nice piece. Might keep it myself, might play with it. Next up, for 50p, was this mini arcade machine. Um, it's like out of those gadget shops, made by Red5 apparently. I'll uh, open it up, I've played with it. We have some instructions, a bit of bubble, and the machine itself, with its uh, LCD cover stick still on it. And if I power it up, Hopefully you guys can hear that, I think the volume goes up a bit. You scroll through, the sport, shooting, puzzle games, whatever. Obviously playing this backwards is quite difficult, but you get the idea. It does all sorts of different puzzly things. Not bad for 50p. The woman wanted a pound for it, I picked it up, she was like, you can all do that for 50p. I was, well, I hadn't even said anything to her. So she was obviously desperate to get rid of it. I'm not looked up how much it's going to be. I'll put it out as a bit of a novelty somewhere, but I couldn't really turn it down for 50p. In theory, I'll put it back together. Good piece. Next up, we have this. A bit strange, an alien wall relief. Uh, brand new on card, never been out. Obviously, the card, a bit of damage, but. Um, I don't know, strange piece. That was 50p. Uh, seems to go for about a couple of quid. Nice piece though, in Alien Collectors. Again, something to be different. Now, something a bit more personal. Oh no, hang on. First up, a Halo 3 ODST Edition Xbox controller. Disc condition, not the right back to it. 50p. Very pleased with them. And it came with a rechargeable battery pack, but no recharging thing for it. Don't ask me, I haven't got a clue. So that was 50p. These were also 50p. It took me ages to go through the, there was a massive tin. And I went and went through them all and I was like, well, you know, I want this, this and this. I'll transfer them into another bag to save me some time. So I'll quickly flick through these as I go through them. So we have an original Beatles, Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Bands. Heinz Invaders. I like all my old uh, food and crisps and promotional stuff. Very nice original Star Wars badge. That is uh, copyright 1977. So really nice piece that one. Two local interest. We got the canals of the West Midlands. Obviously I'm in the West Midlands and there's a lot of canals. So I got two of those. Both in nice condition. Uh, an ET badge from the film. Uh, another Heinz Invaders badge, a British Concord. People quite like Concord, so it's worth picking that sort of stuff up. Uh, Lucas Oil, I like my car stuff as well. 
uh, <laughs> a rude one. I don't know if Ben, you're gonna have to censor the uh, the other bits. Is that gonna come into focus? Anyway, it says uh, same again tonight. I don't understand Miss Wilmot with uh, a very cheeky monkey on the top. Very nice. Um, Green Cross Code Man. Obviously, some of these will only work for people of a certain generation, but me being a bit old and out of it, I know most of these. Hooks Fizz, the band, not the drink. Nice Texaco badge. Lead me to your taker. Nice little Van Halen pin. A lot of badges. An original. I was quite pleased with that. Status Quo badge. Obviously I was looking for Queen, but I'll take Status Quo. Black Country Museum. Local museum near me. Very nice to find an old badge. Something toy related. Bit of Cindy. Uh, cottons. A big uh, homeware store sort of thing, I think. Volvo badge. Saving the best of the last. So, Michael Jackson. Michael J. Fox, bit of a strange one. Nice union flag. Fresh milk, it's great shakes. Don't know. Two favourite ones for me. A very nice ACDC badge. Best of all, I'd give you my last Rolo any time. Nice badge. If you don't know the advert, it won't have much effect on you, but I quite like those. And all those are 50p, so so far I'm up to what? One, two, three quid. Uh, next up, again, something else for me, which is a very nice Queen t shirt. I particularly like the box, as you can see. This isn't the t shirt I'm actually wearing, but it's Queen related, which is why I pull it on. Nice large scene from Prince of the Universe. Pound. Happily pay that. Turkish import, so it's something a bit different from my collection. 2012, I think this came out. So, nice piece. It's different, different, different. We have something for a friend of mine. So, Beck, if you're watching, look away now because this is your Christmas present. Very nice, one of these. Obviously, if she's looking away, I won't uh, tell you what it is, but brand new Primark. Very nice. I have the real thing to go with it, so it should make a nice Christmas present. That was. 20p I think, so not too bad. A couple of figures. We'll get to the more exciting stuff yet, there's, there's still more to come. So three Halo figures, again these are 20p each, so I don't think they're Pacific characters, obviously that one looks a lot like uh, the Spartan we follow, it's Master, Master Chief, but you know. Not too bad, so 20p each on those. So, and 20p on this. Jurassic Park, oh yeah! Nice find, nice stiff limbs, incredibly stiff. Little bit of paint loss, so not too bad. I think it's Muldoon or something like that, I'm not quite sure. It'll go in my JP collection for, uh, for sure. 1993, so it's the original uh, JP line. Right, 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 right. Next up, two slightly odd bits. We have a tiny Dalek, quite nice. 2000, he's the newer ones, very new. So, Peter Capaldi era. He was 20p, well. And this was a pound, Terminator mug, but um, obviously I made her an offer and she was like, oh, pound for the two, and I was like, yeah. This is quite interesting, made exclusively for Universal Studios. I believe I brought a gun not too long back, which is sat over there. Also a Universal Studios exclusive, so a nice Terminator mug. I've not looked it up, you've got to say both the pairs got to be worth more than a pound. I don't imagine the dialogue's got to be about four or five quid. Um, I don't know, what would you pay for that? Again, four or five quid. Give it a bit of a clean. Nice piece. What do we come to next? An empty bag. Oh, it's for letting the bag. Two more bits for me. Again, Queen related. A Queen Freddie Mercury album tape. 10p. And a nice Somebody to Love book, which was a pound. 
Very nice. Never been read, so that's a copy for me to actually read. Next up, a NES Classic Edition controller. So this is for the Classic SNES Mini, the uh, newer one. Um, it is poking out the box slightly because I checked it out and couldn't quite get it back in. So, don't know, plain black controller. I paid a pound. Can't really go wrong for a pound. Um, right, I'm going to do Ben's pick up next and then we'll go for the rest of it which has all got a bit of a theme so you'll have to bear with. So Ben's turtle item special extra case is Michelangelo TY ball thing. Very fat turtle. Nice condition. His uh, labels may be a bit bent but he was quite uh, quite playful. <laughs> so I think he was a pound Hope you enjoy that, Ben. Something for either your Green Shelf or your Turtles collection. Or you can just chuck it at Muggsy. Whatever. Nice piece. Different. I don't think I'd seen one of those before. So, I thought it was worth picking up. Now, I shall start with the least interesting and then work up to the most interesting, if that makes sense out of this lot. We've gone to a gaming theme. So, we've already had a few gaming bits, but uh, now we're getting a bit more deep into it. Reckless, the Yakuza missions. Yakuza's recently been released on, um, well, re-released and remastered, so a nice piece to pick up, complete with manual. PlayStation 2, future collectible. Um, I'll talk you through the price in a minute, but I couldn't go wrong. So, nice, hopefully that'll pick up with the film. Obviously there's an indie fan, Indiana Jones, Lego. Uh, yep, yeah, manual and disc. I think I left the one which wasn't, which was a uh, Forced Unleashed, but again, not a bad pick up. And probably the best out of those sort of games was the uh, Super Mario Galaxy, complete with manual and disc. Quite pleased with those. The three of those cost me a pound. These were 50p each. I took a bit of a risk. I don't have a PS3, I don't really look at PS3 prices for that reason, but I picked up PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Dunno. Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2. And probably the best I'm imagining is Lego Lord of the Rings. Pretty pleased with those at 50p each. Could not go wrong. Right. Next up, Gran Turismo 2. As you'll see, it's, uh, it cost me a pound. Slight downside is there's only one disc, but it's got its manual and everything, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Which actually goes with. Ha ha ha! Ta da! PS1 with two very nice pads, great condition. All the other leads are there as well for the uh, power pack and the AV. Free memory card, excellent. Nice and clean disk drive, uh, tested working, needs a bit of a clean still, but very nice. And this is going to be my first giveaway on Twitch to subscribers, so. Nice piece to pick up, and obviously I'll be sticking Gran Turismo with it, and a couple of other games, but quite pleased. And then, probably, the best buy of the lot, and the most weird. So if I show you this, what are we thinking? Are we thinking a video? If I show you that? Sega, still thinking a video? Spying? Whichever way that's best to be done, the House of the Dead Overkill. Pops it open, gets a postcard inside, looks like a video, and this, which is in fact a t shirt. Really cool piece, I did look this up. It is a promotional piece for the Wii, for the House of the Dead um, Overkill game. Sent out to retail stores primarily and a couple of um, playtesters and whatnot. Obviously the uh, damage is all simulation on it and that cost me a pound. I thought I was looking for videos at the time so I didn't really understand what it was. I saw Sagan and thought, well that's interesting, maybe some sort of telly game. But no, it turns out to be a promo piece. There's a couple online, well I think there's three. And they all vary between about 37 and 50 quid. So, a very nice promo piece. 
I'll probably look for the game and put them both together. So quite nice. I don't think it originally came with the game. This is would have been how it would have come. So overall, not too bad. Oh, if I didn't say how much the PS1 was. I think I, I don't think I did. All the leads and everything. What do we guess? What do we guess? Fiver maybe? No. Uh, two quid. Didn't know what it was. Thought it was old. Two quid. Old woman. Very pleased with that. So, so I'll count it back in. So two, three, four, five, six, six pound ten, seven pound ten, eight, nine, for the bundle of figures, badges, ten. Ten fifty. Eleven. Eleven fifty. Twelve. Twelve fifty. Thirteen. Fourteen. No, thirteen fifty. Fourteen fifty. Fourteen fifty. Fifteen fifty. Sixteen fifty. Altogether was my max spend. That includes the. Uh, Ben bonus buy. So overall I'm pretty pleased, obviously psyched about the gaming. Looking forward to playing the Cluedo as well, the mini arcade machine quite nice and the PS3 games are uh, quite nice. So overall not a bad little haul. So guys, what do you think to my uh, pickups? I'll uh, leave it in your capable hands to finish off the video. Until next time from me, laters. Thank you so much for watching our video. Remember to vote in the comments for who you think's won this time round. Mm. Will Will get it again, or do you think it was us? I think it was us this week. You still don't know what Will got. No. <laughs> but we'll watch it when you guys watch it. So, If you haven't subscribed, please consider to do so. Thank you for tuning in either way. Leave us a comment, leave us a like. Hit the bell, subscribe, please. Check us out on our social media, uh, at Facebook, at Bugsy's Toy Box. And Instagram, at Bugsy's Toy Box. And until next time, keep it unbunched. Thank you.